I'm watching, too. Well, I guess I'm sorry for the next cartoon. I guess. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not too thrilled with Fatso and Lumbar, but I mean, the idea of leaving civil servants here, when I heard that voice on the other side of the door saying, OK, gang, let's have another cartoon, I thought, it's really gone down the tube. I mean, those guys don't get paid a whole lot, but the idea of having the management bring in a cop to do the kids' show for free. <laughs> oh, that's right, you guys don't do anything for free, do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I'm, I'm glad you walked in. I'm really happy. I'm glad we have this opportunity to talk. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I feel it coming. Here it comes. Another one of Harry's little lectures. Have you ever noticed? You don't have any friends? You have a smooth way of getting right into the subject matter. <laughs> have I ever noticed that I don't have any friends? More than noticed, Uncle Harry. I've spent a lifetime cultivating that situation. It's on purpose, don't you understand? Don't you think it'd be nice to, to have a pal to talk to or a, or a buddy to go on trips with? <clears throat> have we prepared a close-up for this reaction? <laughs> Gagola. What are you, from Valley Big Brothers or something? Come on, get off it. This hey, is Gerald, worse than the land. This is serious. Bag. This is serious. For example, look what happened at your last birthday party. I don't want to talk about my last birthday party. Nobody showed up there. There you sat, all alone. Nobody to share the cake with. Nobody to sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gerald. Happy birthday to you. You're going after an award on that? <laughs> I don't believe this, the singing fuzz. <laughs> what do I care about this? Uh, sitting there, it's my birthday, my business. I don't need them, I don't care. So what if I was all alone on my birthday? Lots of people sit and have... <laughs> I don't like it when you bring up those sad things. I'm so lonely. You don't know what it's like. You're never lonely. Oh, oh my whole life is one long boo everywhere I go. Well, not everywhere. There's once in a while, some sickie will go, yay, Gerald. You know, but I mean, you look over at him and he's going. <laughs> <laughs> For the most part, it's just one long boo, Harry. I'm telling you, it's getting me down. Sometimes it's even a little s series of short boos. A big crowd goes. <laughs> wherever I go. Uh, <sighs> there, there, little guy. You had a tough time of it. Have a good cry. <clears throat> Sometimes confronting the problem is the first step to recovery. What was that? <laughs> Sometimes having a good cry is the first step. No, confronting the problem. It's confronting the problem. It's the first step. Yes, it is. To recovery. I'm glad you remembered that. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, it's that kind of advice that has endeared you to the entire citizenry of the valley. You're so strong. <laughs> uh, listen, 